Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whichever it may be for you. I hope you're doing well. My name is Damon, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'd encourage you to subscribe and hit that bell for further notifications. Uh, today we're going to try something new. I'm in a, a creek that runs through, through the, my hometown of Medford, Oregon. And uh, I'm going to try to find a spot to set up a sluice box and uh, just start feeding it, running whole shovel loads right through it and see what we can get. Um, let me get you turned around and I'll kind of show you what I have to work with here. I really want a spot to set up the, the box, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find that. So let me get you turned around here and we'll, we'll wander around and see if we can't find something. All right. Uh, so here's the creek. This is Bear Creek and it runs right through Talent, Phoenix, and Medford here in Southwest Oregon. And as you can see, everything was burnt. Uh, this is a result of the domestic terror attack that happened last summer. And yeah, it was a terrorist attack. The, uh, I fought fire for four years and this is not how fires start. These, there was like numerous fires set uh, all up and down the main roads of, of uh, I-5. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's sad. They killed people, um, burnt down thousands of homes here. It's just it's really sad. All right. I think I might have found a, a sluice set up. And uh, yeah, if you notice uh, a little bit of a slur, I had uh, some major oral surgery done. I'm having some major dental work done, so um, <laughs> might sound a little bit funny, but anyhow. All right, I think I can get a sluice set up here for sure. What I'm gonna do is just dig right right next to my sluice and just feed it. I'm not classifying, I'm not gonna waste any time, just uh, this will be just kind of like a, a sample test. See how much uh, gold we can find in a, you know, a short amount of time, it's kind of like a big test. So, all right, let me get the sluice box set up and put you up on the tripod and we'll see what we can find. Oh, before I do that, uh, if you didn't know, I, I started channel memberships and also on Patreon. So if you guys would like to be a channel West Coast Gold Prospecting member uh, or a patron, I'd love to have you. All right, let's find some gold. All right, so I got the box set up and uh, it's running pretty good up top. The only problem is uh, it's a little bit, a little bit deep in the water towards the, the back end, but. Still running good up top, and uh, it should it should catch some gold if there is any here. Um, the one thing I don't like about not classifying is my theory is is that uh, when you put bigger rocks in there, like especially with the V matting, you put bigger rocks over the V matting. I believe that it creates an undercurrent under those rocks, and it pulls up the gold out of the V matting. Uh, that's just one thing I don't like about not classifying, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Get you up on the tripod and let's uh, feed some of this material, see what we can get. All right, so I've done about 20, 20 or so shovel loads. And uh, I'm gonna let this clear out a little bit. Yeah, I just, it's just not set up very well. I'm packing up at the, the back end real bad. So, 
I think I'm gonna do a few test pans. I see some gravel uh, right by those tree roots. I think I might do a pan there and kind of wander around and do test pans here and there and I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. All right, so there was nothing in that first pan um, from, from those roots across the way here. So I just hopped across the creek and I found this, uh, it's kind of a, well, I'll show you. When this, when this creek is flooding, it's pushing straight into here and then it's eating away at this bank, exposing uh, a lot of river cobble and some okay looking material. So I'll do a test pan here and I'll show you what that one looks like right now. All right, well, I'm a tad bit surprised. Looky, looky here. I got three, kind of hard to see against the, the white gravels in here, but I got three pieces in here. Not bad, not bad. That was right here from this hole. So what I think I'll do is I dug down underneath. Let me back up here. We go right in here. I think I'll I'll work this upper layer, do another test pan from there, and see if that holds any more. Uh, and if it does, I, what I think I'm going to do is start filling my pans and walking it over to the sluice box, just dumping it in, and uh, see how much more we can get. Let me do another test pan, I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, same hole, uh, just up a little bit higher, and uh, not a single speck in that one. So what I think I'll do is just keep going down, down a little bit deeper here, and... Uh, Maybe start working my way out this way, just a little bit, and uh, we'll see what see what that looks like. I'll do one more test pan, and if there's nothing in that one, then I might just wander on. I'm um, seeing these just over the hill here. I'm seeing these uh, these big old piles right there, and there's a pond just on the other side. I think they dug all that material out for that pond. And they piled it there, so I think I might do a test pan on that. But we'll see what this one looks like, and I'll show you in a second. Okay, so absolutely nothing in that one either. So I'm going to wander over here and, and do like I said, and do a test pan from... Well, I'm going to I'm gonna look at it first and see if it's worth even, you know, test panning. But I'll show you if, if I find anything here in a second. Well, I'll be damned. I just came over here and did a test pan right off the top, as you can see, right on this. Uh, I don't know if this is material that was been taken out of the, for this pond, or if it was material that was pushed from over here into a pile. I think it might be material from over here that was pushed this way. But, I, you know, I couldn't be sure. But anyhow, check this out. It was the only speck in there, but it, that's a big, nice big flake. I was really surprised to see that pop up. So anyhow, I'm gonna do one more test pan. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna pack pan fulls of material over to my sluice box and feed it, cause uh, just a bit much, but I didn't bring a bucket today. So let me do another test pan and see what it looks like. I'll show you that one here in a second. All right, second test pan, same spot. Uh, not a single speck in that one. So, yeah, there's definitely gold here. Uh, it's just not, you know, concentrated. Like in, uh, you know, other places. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely gold in your backyard or your neighborhood creek depending on where you live. So what I think I'm gonna do is go back over to the, the creek here and do a few more test pans in a couple other spots. And uh, I'll show you what, what I come up with. All right, so I found this kind of interesting. Um, I was over there, worked my way back across the creek towards my sluice box. And I was just kind of wandering around. I came up uh, over this little hill and there's part of the creek is flowing on this side so what I think you know I just gotta 
Can't help but wonder if this is uh, where the old creek channel used to be. Maybe uh, the gold might be more concentrated over here. Possibly. I don't know, but I'm sure going to do a test pan or two and I'll show you what it looks like right now. All right, so there was nothing in that test pan over that little hill right here. So I just came out, came back over and decided to clean out the juice box. It is Easter Sunday, so I figured I'd uh, clean this up and and uh, head back home and spend a little time with the boys, the family. Got a big Easter egg hunt going on today. So anyhow, I'll get this panned out. Quite a bit of black sand showing up. I'll get this panned out and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, got the box cleaned out. And I gotta say, I'm rather surprised. Um, there's probably, oh, come on. We probably got 15, 20 pieces in there. I wasn't really expecting anything, but you know, for the 20 or 30 shovel loads I did, that's what came out of it. So let me get back home and I'll, I'll dump out the stuffer bottle, show you what we got. And I also got another announcement for you. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. All right, so we're back home and uh, got the stuffer bottle dumped out. <laughs> and uh, that's what I got very very little you know i was only out there for an hour and a half maybe just kind of doing some testing and seeing what's around but uh yeah yeah i'll just uh add that to my my panning you know my leftovers from panning uh, and that's going to go in some of my pay dirt so the announcement i was going to make is that uh, i'm going to start getting rid of i have uh about 12 to 15 grams of, of pay dirt gold that I'm going to start getting rid of and uh, you know I should have it should be a better ROI ROI <laughs> than most of the the gold pay dirts out there probably similar to um, gold bay something like that but yeah I've got one one nugget in there that's 1.2 grams and uh, I'll be doing uh, half gram and full gram bags so Leave me a message at the end of this, uh, or leave me a comment if you want one, and I'll leave a, an a, a email address. Email me if you'd like to, to grab a, a, a bag of pay dirt. All right, so that is it for today, you guys. Stay tuned. Uh, next Sunday, I'll have another video out, and I uh, hope to see you there. Bye.